Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing another haul video from our St. Louis Nashville trip that we just came back from a couple weeks ago. I'm plowing through the stuff so I'm making Robert do as many of these videos as we can so that I can get this stuff processed because we want to do this again in about three months. Maybe, hopefully. We got plans for May for a trip then, so yes. it might have to be in March or April. So you got like two or three months to get through all I of that. Know, a lot of stuff. So probably every three days or so, four days, I'm going to try to get two more bags, get another haul done, and then get them processed. So I, based on seeing something here that says Nashville Zoo, I'm thinking this first bag might have been when we stopped in Nashville on our way to Missouri. So I'm going to show you some of the things we picked up. Let me go ahead and start with some of the stuff. Clothes. We're working on clothes. I didn't bother moving that because... I clothes. thought you had them piled up to show them in the video. No, no. I keep we're, hoping. This is winter stuff. We, we're we redoing our shelves today in a new inventory system. And this is shelves of winter stuff that was blocked by bags of more clothes. And I've got to get to it. We've got to get to it. All right, let me show you some of the stuff. I picked two bags. This is some great stuff, though. Look at this. This is FAO Schwartz. It's got the little button. But look, it's a unicorn, unicorn, unicorn rabbit. Unicorn rabbit or narwhal rabbit? Could be. I'm thinking unicorn, though. Very clean. Love this. No clue. This, this says sample on the tag. That's kind of weird. Look. Sample. But, I'm thinking this is a Lynx. Very cool. I'm hoping 12 or so. This. Look, this is vintage Walmart. Big old, I'm guessing, duck. Crazy. Crazy. I'm thinking probably 40 is what I'll list this for. We'll see. Sometimes I'm afraid to say high dollar stuff and then it'll be $9.99. But usually I go low and then I end up listing it for way more. This says, this is weird. I can't read it. Nevertheless, giftable world. Look, this reminds me of the little chicken that used to be with Foghorn Leghorn. Doesn't it? No, it's because not, it was though. a boy. That's a girl chicken. Oh. Well, it still reminded me of it. I say, I say, old boy. <laughs> One of the greatest cartoons. Very funny cartoon. Hug fun. Love this, too. I mean, this is nice stuff. I'm hoping about 15, maybe 20, because it's kind of large. This. Yeah, Animal Adventure. I think it's supposed to have a bandana, which it's missing. I'm hoping still 15 or so for it. Y'all, look at this. All right. This is... I think this is Berjusa. Berjusa. Sometimes you'll see Behringer slash Berjusa. This one's Berjusa. Look at... The detail of this and I'm pretty sure yeah it's anatomically correct and it's a little boy I haven't had one of these in a really long time but I'm hoping $25 and up for it it does have this this is gonna be a problem it's it gets into this and it doesn't come off with alcohol and stuff but very nice These devil plushes are always very popular. I'm hoping it's one of the ones that makes noise. It is, looks like, yeah, MTY International. I'm hoping it works, but right now it's not. But again, hopefully like $25 and up. I 
am in love with all of this stuff. I don't remember it. That's the funny thing. This is Walmart, more current, but look at the size. Again, I'm hoping probably 15, 20 for it. And then here is Toys R Us 2012. Again, look how large. Sometimes Toys R Us stuff is, you know, $12, $15, and sometimes it can be like $40 and $50, if not more. Oh, this has a boo-boo. I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. And it doesn't have a tag. But normally I do really well with this kind of stuff. You, a lot of times they'll put duck, but they'll also put platypus. Here's the thing that makes me think we were in Nashville. Big old ostrich. This is by Wild Republic. I'm hoping 15 or more for it. I hit that wood thing. This is Spark Create Imagine. I think I've had this before, and it's not. It's like 12 to 15, maybe. I was hoping it was more. And then Build-A-Bear with his little removable turtle shell. I'm hoping like, normally Build-A-Bear for me is like 10 to $15, unless it's something special. Like my well that, I, no, what was it? The Manta Ray that sold for like $90. These are just little Barbie plush. Sometimes I make a couple of lots of these with a few, and then it's, you know, $12 to $15. Oh, Manhattan toy. It's got some tape. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. But I'm hoping still 8 to 12 A whole lot of little here right now. Reese's pieces. Probably 12 or so. Here's Snoopy. I don't keep Snoopy around very much. It does quite well for me. But this is Christmassy, so it might take a little while. Here's a Rattle Plush. This is Kelly Toy. I'm hoping like 12. I'm all about 12 tonight. I'm not quite sure. And then this has a whole lot of pet hair in it. So that's the, the, where are they? The lint rollers? Yeah, the lint rollers from Walmart are just the absolute best. They're like mainstay or whatever. It's not the name brand, but these are excellent for getting pet hair out of that. All right, a few more from this bag. This is marked Creature Comforts and has Ottawa on the back. And then this is Cutia, Cutitos Frutitos. I think I've got another one like this, and I don't think they're worth a whole lot, so I'll probably add this to the lot and raise the price a little. This intrigues me. Made in China. But then again, it makes me a little leery because of the whole episode I had with the octopus that was flippable. This is kind of looking kind of the same, and I don't see any manufacturer on the tag. I don't know. I'll see what I find on eBay. Another Manhattan Toy Company. This is cute. I think I've had an elephant like this, but I don't think I've had, well, I guess this is an elephant, but I had a different colored one. And then Circo, I do quite well with Circo. That's Target. And Aurora. I do a whole lot of listing of Aurora in like the six to eight dollar range. This is the second half of the first bag. This Eeyore, 
Very cute, but look at the, the shirt. I'm gonna have to use a sweater um, shaver to see if that will help at all. But I'm still hoping like 15 or so for it. All right, and then a classic Eeyore plush. Don't know of a date on it. It's gonna need a bath, but the classic do a whole lot better than some of the other Winnie the Pooh plush. This is a big old Russ bear. Yep. No name on his tag. These probably 10 to $12 for it. And then this is Dandy. Again, sometimes these are worth something. Sometimes they're going to be, you know, 10 to 12 A lot of this stuff in here is going to need a bath. These are cute. I had a smaller one like this. This is Hallmark, of course. Very dirty, but very cute. Halloween, right? All things Halloween. And then this is Hug Fun, another brand I like to pick up. But again, probably 10 or so for it. I had somebody buy 43 items today. Plush. Now I gotta get it boxed. That's like they might have a problem as bad as yours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is adorable, but there's no tag. It really looks like Dakin, Russ, maybe even Eden. I'm not quite sure. Vintage for sure. But that might be my little treasure for this batch. This looks Aurora, but its tag has been cut off. Look at those eyes. I'm sure Robert picked this up. These aren't worth a whole lot, unless for some reason it's changed, but I know when I've looked these up recently, they weren't worth much. But this is from Monsters, Inc. Needs a bath. This is Cole's Cares. This is... Brody, but I cannot think of what he went to. I just know he's Brody because my grandson is Brody. But very cute. Dandy. A lot of times, these ones with the ribbed feet and bellies, they do quite well. So I'm hoping this is like $15 or so. Coles again, Dr. Seuss. I'm by, I bought a lot of Coles. And I, because I wiped out, I only had like a few plush laying in the bottom. And I keep three baskets just for Coles stuff. This is Build a Bear. Again, probably nine or ten dollars. This is from Clifford the Big Red Dog. This is definitely vintage. Nanco 2001, which is now vintage. This is Little Tykes. I don't buy a whole lot of the Little Tykes plush. Of course, I love the dollhouse stuff, but very cute. But it, it's got batteries, so I'm hoping I probably musical lights up. <gasps> oh no. Okay, good. Hug fun again, probably like 8 to 10. Some more vintage Winnie the Pooh, stated 1997. He needs a bath. And this is Furby, but it's not the big one. This is the plush one, but it's supposed to have a little sound box in it, which is missing. I do really well with some of these smaller ones like this. This is Marvel, but I don't watch movies, and somebody's not paying attention to help me figure out who he is. It was Deadpool. I thought it was obvious. <laughs> no. I didn't think I needed to explain that one to you. I don't know anything about the Marvels. So if your kids want to go watch Deadpool movies, the answer is no. <laughs> Unless they're grown. 
Yeah. I, my, our kids wanted to watch it. And I was like, well, it's rated R. But, you know, what's rated R? It might be this. It might be that. So I started watching it. And it didn't take very long into the movie. And I was like, no, no. There's no way they're going to be watching this until they're well grown. Maybe 30. Or... <laughs> yeah, no. And then last thing from that bag is Mary Meyer. Little plush. Again, maybe I'll find something to go with it. But it's probably, you know, the six, seven, eight dollars. But it all adds up. I am all about listing in quantity and just, you know, compo compounding the money. All right, second bag. Some plush and then a few just puzzles and stuff, but I'll go ahead and share it all with you guys. These two are both 2020 Animal Adventure. Just really cute. I may keep them together, depending on value, of course. But I'm hoping, you know, maybe $20 together, 8 to $10 apart. More Build-A-Bear. Um, I just, I think I just recently sold this monkey. I want to say maybe 10 to $12 for it. This kind of makes me sad because, let's see, it is TB Trading Company. Look how cute it's holding its little baby. But it's got a big old tear in its neck. This is Wild Republic. Wolf's. Slash, well, this definitely looks like a wolf, not a husky. But they tend to do really well on eBay. Some of the plush, um, I can't remember if it's Webkins or one of them, sells for over $100. This is International Silver Company. Just vintage, very cute. Probably 25 or so dollars is what I'll list it for. This is Fiesta. Skip. Skip. Again, probably 10 to 12. Yeah, this is Ikea. You can tell by its eyes. It's got the little white embroidered eyes. But its tag is missing. I just sold a dog today that was Ikea. And then this is 2015 Animal Adventure. This, I'm hoping like 15 to 20. Sometimes these ones with the knit arms and legs are really well. And usually anything with different colors does well. Now this, I'm not quite sure somebody's added this little beaded thing. This is a Goon Snuffle Polar Bear. This is larger size. It needs a bath. The tag, I think, has been cut off also. Um, but usually the, I want to say 20 or so on these, if I can get it clean. This is... Mavericks basketball. He's missing his little headband. Probably 12 or so, 15 maybe. But you see why I like to buy all of this stuff? I'm paying by the pound and it's just a whole lot of money making. This is Ikea again. This is what their tags normally look like. It's these big long... That's why people just cut them off. Um, this is... A little hand puppet dragon. I'm hoping 12 or so for it. This is heavy. Dim Daco. It's kind of got a weighted bottom. I'm thinking 20-ish or so. That's just my gut. I haven't sold this before. But it needs a bath. Giggle Baby, that, I think that was the plush that I sold for over $50. No, that was Grin and Go. Never mind, 
but it's a rattle. I'll have to do some research. I haven't had that before. And this is Gund Dale. Again, probably eight to ten dollars for the horses. This is Trend Masters. It's it's vintage. I'm not sure who it used to be before or after. But I sometimes sell these for like twelve, fifteen, twenty dollars. Just Trend Master in general, this little small plush. I picked up a couple of these because I had something else. Funny the things I remember that I have, but I have other things that I want to list the Eric Carl Caterpillar as a set. So I think I picked up a couple of things that were this little Caterpillar. This is Jack's Pacific. It's probably a doll plush is my guess on this. So it'll be like a replacement to something. But maybe hopefully 8 to 10. This is a little vintage rag doll. Again, probably still 10 or so. Maybe a little less. I just sold a pink one like this and I said, you know, these are definitely something, if you see them at yard sales for relatively cheap, pick them up because I sell them regularly when I find them for anywhere eight to ten dollars but they just light up and musical oh here's that giggle baby again so hopefully I'll put those two together in a lot now these this is Garanimals I do really well with these some of these sell for a whole lot more the elephant is more common. I think this monkey is um, harder to find. And I have sold some of these for upwards of like $20 for these little rattle ones and other granimal type stuffed animals. I think that was JCPenney once upon a time. And then these. I've talked about these before. These are K&M International. I tend to do really well. Eight, ten, twelve dollars but they have, I'm going to, it's really quick. They make the sound of whatever the bird is. And lots of people like to collect these. Don't mail these in a bubble mailer or a poly bag. These need to be mailed in a box. I sure hope this works because these tend to do really well. These are the Telco Motionettes um, Christmas decorations. If you can see, this is some kind of elf or jester or something. Um, I pick up the, the Santa and Mrs. Claus. Usually their heads move, their arms go up and down. Um, yeah, he's posable, double arm motions, turning head. I'm hoping at least 50, if not more, for him if he's working. All right, and then just a few things. I like to buy Littles. This is some kind of pretend play curling iron. I just thought it was cute. Hopefully it works. I tend to pick up any and all mega blocks of these. They're kind of like the Duplos, but the mega blocks. I make lots of these for like three and four of them at a time and usually can sell them anywhere from 10 to $20, um, depending on what it is. And of course, I pick up lots of littles. This is Boo from Monsters, Inc. And I bought a bunch of these, but only a few were in this bag. These are VTech, and they go to the different sets. And some of them were vehicles, some of them were zoos, some of them were just tracks and everything. But I'll probably just make a lot of all of the ones that I end up finding hopefully $20, $25 as replacements. But I bought a lot of them. I want to say 15 or so. And then this was the last thing I bought. It intrigued me. I mean, in this bag. Um, but there are these little blow mold Christmas. I 
Christmas. Halloween lights. There was the ghost, and then there's pumpkins. Now, I know Courtney from Bolo Buddies featured some of these in one of her videos I watched. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping maybe I've got a little treasure here. Um, I don't know if this is two different sets or if it's all complete. I'm not going to try to pull it out right now. But I'm hoping this is my treasure out of this box also. All right, I think that's it. That was two bags. That gives me some more stuff to list for the next few days. And then we'll do it again, right? Anything you want to say, Mr. I'm looking at my phone the entire video? I was paying attention to you. Always. I'm always paying attention. I'm just slow to respond sometimes. <laughs> All right. Bye.